Now for the turbojet, we were able to use a power balance to eliminate tau t, which here is equivalent to tau hpt times tau lpt from the equations, and also tau b um, in order to simplify the equation. So let's try and do the same for the turbofan. So we're going to try to eliminate tau hpt, tau lpt, and tau b from the equation. But here the power balance is different. Only a small amount of the power generated by the LPT is used to provide the fan uh, stagnation temperature ratio for the core flow. So the high speed shaft has power balance m dot delta hg for the core is equal to m dot delta hg for the high pressure turbine. And the low speed shaft has 1 plus alpha, so including the bypass ratio, m dot delta hg for the fan. This is for compressor, not core. Is m dot delta ht for the low pressure turbine. So note the imbalance in mass flow applied between uh, these two parts of the power balance for the low speed shaft. So this is where things become significantly different than for the turbojet engine. So we can write that tt3 minus tt2 prime equals tt4 minus tt4 prime. We'll call that equation one. So this is the power balance um, across the compressor and the high pressure turbine. And we have that one plus alpha tt2 prime minus tt2. So it's temperature rise across the fan is tt4 prime minus tt5. The temperature change across the low pressure uh, turbine. We'll call that equation two. So from one, we get that tau c minus one times t two prime equals t t four one minus tau h p t. And therefore tau c minus one and write this as tau f theta naught equals theta 4 1 minus tau hpt. So tau hpt, if we rearrange, is 1 minus theta naught over theta 4 times tau f times tau c minus 1. Then for, from equation 2, we can write the 1 plus alpha times tt2 times tau f minus 1 equals tt4 prime 1 minus tau lpt. 1 plus alpha, theta naught, tau f minus 1 equals theta 4, tau hpt, that's how we get to tt4 prime, 1 minus tau lpt. So therefore tau lpt, 1 minus theta naught over theta 4, 1 plus alpha, tau f minus 1 over tau h e t. Substituting in 
the term that we got for tau HPT, we get that tau LPT is 1 minus 1 plus alpha theta naught over theta 4 tau F minus 1 times theta 4 over theta 4 minus theta naught tau F tau C minus 1. These theta 4s cancel, and we get the tau LPT is 1 minus 1 plus alpha theta naught tau F minus 1 over theta 4 minus theta naught tau F times tau C minus 1. And for the burner, we have that tau B, which is TT4 over TT3, is TT4 over T naught times T naught over T T naught times TT2 over TT2 prime because TT naught and TT2 prime are equal. TT2 prime over TT3. Simplifying that using our non-dimensional parameters, we can write this as theta 4 over theta naught tau f tau c. Now, directly substituting all of these uh, expressions into the specific thrust equation isn't very helpful. Instead, let's make some further simplifications. So what we have is the specific thrust equals a function of the flight Mach number theta 4 tau c tau f and alpha. And these last two are the new parameters for the turbofan. Now we can simplify further by taking C8 equals C6 so that the two jet velocities are equal. It can be shown that this maximizes the propulsive efficiency and without going through the rigorous mathematical proof uh, it's easy to see why because essentially this is going to eliminate mixing losses between the two streams. Consider when we looked at the problem of um, two streams of different velocities going into a mixing chamber. Um, the stagnation pressure loss in the incompressible case was related to the velocity difference between the streams. If there was no velocity difference, there would be no loss at all. And so that's why this is a reasonable assumption, is that one would design the engine to ensure those two jets are moving at the same speed. Now, the thrust equation has the form, like this, C6 over C0 minus 1 plus alpha M0, C8 over C0 minus 1. And we're saying that we want C6 over C0 minus 1 to equal C8 over C0 minus 1 if we want C8 equals C6. So that means, of course, that C6 over C0 must equal C8 over C0. And then we can write the following. Theta0 tau F tau C using the terms from the expanded thrust equation. Tau B over theta naught minus 1, all square root, equals 2 over gamma minus 1 
theta naught tau f minus 1 all over m naught. So, create some more space here. So, simplifying a bit, we can write this as theta naught tau f, tau c, tau hpt, tau lpt, minus 1, over theta naught minus 1, times theta 4 over theta naught tau f tau c is equal to theta naught tau f minus 1 over theta naught minus 1. Now, we basically want to solve this for tau f. 